I, in terms of how games relate to, to culture at large and education, um, I feel two ways about it. On the one hand, I feel that games have an incredibly important relevance to the times in which we're living, specifically around literacy. On the other hand, I also feel that sometimes an emphasis on the idea that games are just there to educate people or change the world can cheapen them and instrumentalize them. So what do I mean by that? Um, I have a long history of thinking about the intersection of games and learning, although it's not my main thing, which has been trying to invent new forms of play. For example, my company Game Lab did a lot of work with Lego, Sesame Workshop. We, um, we made GameStar Mechanic, a whole online community that lets kids create their own games. And I co-founded the Institute of Play in New York City, which has created the Quest to Learn schools, which are public schools where the entire curriculum across all subjects is based on games and play as a model for learning. And there's now one in New York and one in Chicago, and they're doing very well. Um, so my uh, thoughts on games and how they relate to learning are that I think that games have a special relationship to the times in which we live right now. Games are ancient. They are thousands, tens of thousands of years old. They're really a part of human culture. Um, but there's a sense in which our lives are more intrinsically intertwined with networks of information. In other words, the way that we the way that we work, the way that we learn, the way that we communicate, the way that we socialize and, and flirt and romance, the way that we conduct our finances and connect with our governments, all of these aspects of our lives are mediated by digital networks of information on a daily basis, on a, you know, many, many, on an hourly basis or minutely basis. Um, so so um, um, there's a sense in which our lives are very much intertwined with systems. And, and games, in a sense, are the cultural form of systems. While every film is a system and, and every song is a system and every building is a system, to play with a game, you are really pushing and pulling at the levers of inputs and outputs of the system. And you are really kind of tinkering with the mechanics of a system and learning how a system works in a way that happens in, in, in a book, but I think in a more direct way, in a more literal way with a game. Um, and... I think that this kind of systemic thinking is part of what it means to be literate today. In other words, literacy has evolved beyond just reading and writing, beyond what literacy scholars were looking at in the 20th century, like visual literacy, technological literacy. I would say there's a kind of gaming literacy or systems thinking literacy. And these, this is not my own ideas. I mean, this is um, the United Nations has published a set of literacies for the 21st century, and they're very game-like. They have to do with uh, understanding how complex parts fit together to form a whole. Um, and games and the explosion of games in our culture right now is both cause and effect of this. And, and, and games both reflect the fact that, that there's more systems thinking going on, but they also are ways to kind of train and educate this kind of literacy. And I think that games are contexts where we can learn how to solve complex problems. Um, and, you know, the fact that, um, the, fact that, uh, that the, the kinds of problems that we face in the world today, like global poverty, um, complicated cultural conflicts that are multi-layered, um, uh, the you know the pandemics and and uh, and and uh, and uh, e economic and and climate changes, all of these things require this kind of complicated systems thinking. So so I think that that there's a sense in which being literate in games or 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 games are kind of intrinsically related to the times in which we live. Now that doesn't mean that everyone has to be a gamer or a game designer. I think there are plenty of other ways to become systems literate. So I don't want to be too game centric, but games are really a great way for us to. To, to think about how we educate people, how we can how we can solve problems. I, I happen to think that a that a, if we were able to get in a room together some government policy experts and a bunch of top game designers, I feel like we could do some rejiggering of the uh, of the of, of the U.S. government and basically close what game designers would call exploits or loopholes that people find in order to kind of gum up the works and really say, what is this system designed to do? How do we make it do it efficiently? Um, that's just a fantasy of mine. Um, but but I do think that, that games thinking can help so solve some of these problems today. Now, all of that said, um, 
I, I also think that, um, I also think that, um, that we don't want to instrumentalize games. That sometimes if we say, well, games are only valuable because they educate you to become a better person, because they're going to change the world, the danger is that we cheapen games. And if we want to think about games as an art form or as a form of, of entertainment, uh, media, culture that's sophisticated, then I think that we want to be able to just appreciate their beauty. We don't ask of music every time we discuss music. How is music going to change the world? How is music going to educate us? We know that music is beautiful, that it comes in many forms, that it can be deployed in educational contexts, but we don't question why would anyone want to learn to play an instrument? Why, would, why is it good to compose music? We understand that that's an intrinsically valuable thing. And I think the same is true of games, that we want uh, games to, uh, to, we want to be able to appreciate that games are beautiful in and of themselves. And we would never want to instrumentalize them by saying they're only valuable because they do something outside of themselves. And I think that appreciating the aesthetics of games and how they are beautiful as a cultural form is one of the challenges that we're facing now as we study games and write games and, and even just play games deeply.